It's been a long time, no see. Yeah, I'm seeing you in a long time, Chris. You look great. Yep, you too. Thanks. I think the last time I saw you, we were both in shorts. I know. Well, this is the first time in a year I put on long pants, so. I think I was running cross country and you were playing soccer. Yep, 19 what? 70, 71, 72? No, no, 72, 73. All right. I'm not that calm. old. I'm not yeah. that old. I know, I know. But you guys had the guys with Mickey Rooney, with yeah. Rooney. Mickey Rooney, Graham yeah. Jones, Rick Scott. And uh, who, the guy from Padua. Switzerland? What's the guy? Uh, uh, Klaus, Weber. Klaus Weber. Klaus Weber. Yeah, you good memory. <laughs> yeah. And um, we were talking about a little early about Appian Way, how people used to cruise their cars down Appian Way. Well, Appian Way was the main street of, of Keene. You know, everyone <clears> cruised <throat> up and down that. But now you can't, uh, you, all you can do is walk it. So. In there. And so we were talking about your son and your name. And what do you do? Um, I play soccer. And how do you like it? That's uh, fun. Like we were talking about, you're going to be better than your father, right? Yeah. He's going to teach you all his skills, and you get some on your own. <laughs> <laughs> and your father said you were quite an artist. Yeah. What kind? What do you do? Um, Just everything. <laughs> so you're getting all set. You're going to enjoy the new middle school. You're yeah, looking yeah. forward to. What grade you in? Seven. Seven, so you'll be the first group to graduate yeah, out of the yeah. new middle school. Yeah. That'd so you can seven. say you're the first, right? Yes. Last seventh grader, and then they'll be the first eighth you'll grader. You'll be the last seventh grader and the first eighth grader. Yep, it's yeah. pretty cool. Brand new soccer field, brand new track, yeah. everything right at the middle school. Yeah. Are you excited? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they all get excited, right? Yeah. But you know, my two grandsons were here, and they all bang, 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 just come on. It's right. like, Shy and all that, hiding behind their mother and stuff like that. Yeah. But, <clears throat> so, yeah, continued success in your soccer. Yeah. You said you were a coach. Yeah, I'm coaching down in South Middle School. I'm a phys ed teacher now, down there now. We've got a very good team. Where's South? Peterborough. 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 My, actually, it's my old, I was a Conval guy, and, and that's my old, uh, you know, middle school. <laughs> so it's kind of fun to go back there. And I've been actually doing this 11 years now, so phys ed teacher. Well, oh, you look good. You I'll say, a little more snow. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of snow. I got snow too. That's why I yeah. cut it short. So it doesn't. Yeah, I know. I just got people go and say, "Oh, you're a marine, so you can cut it short." That yeah. covers up the snow. That's right. That's right. That's but right. it doesn't cover up that bald spot. No, I know. <laughs> I still have all my hair, but <laughs> you're making me jealous. Well, you know what? One thing about it, you, you're a phys ed teacher. Yeah. And you look like a phys ed teacher. <laughs> yeah. Growing up, I, I just couldn't understand when we had these big, overweight yeah. phys ed teachers trying to tell us the importance of what phys ed is. Yeah. Well, the best move I ever made was going to Keene State College and becoming, a, you know, an education major in phys ed. So, and as you know, I was coaching for many years, and when that ended, I fell right back into the phys ed, and it's probably been a blessing and the best thing I've done in my life. So, it's great. Ron Butch is a special guy. He was there when we were there, and he's yeah. still there. Yeah. Well, we um, just had an alumni game two weekends ago, and I was the third oldest. Ron was the first. <laughs> Rick Scott was the second. I was the third. And they kind of interviewed me about that, too, and I said, we all have the one common denominator. It's a soccer ball, and then we have a second common denominator, and it's Ron Butcher. So, yeah. And, and one thing about soccer, you know what? To me, behind the decathlons, yeah. the soccer players are the most fit athletes right. in the world. And they're totally exposed, no, no safety equipment. Because and, it, yeah, it's a great aerobic activity. Because if you watch the World Cup, and mostly everybody did, right. It's not like baseball. You got yeah. Prince Fielder, who is yeah. huge. Right. The old Red Sox, George yeah. Scott. Yeah. They're not athletes. They may have a quick bat. That's true. That's or a true. great eye. Right. So, what is it? The guy who pitched for the Yankees last night. I can't put it on. CC. CC. Yeah. He's over 300 pounds. No, I know. He's a big. He's a big man. He, he's, he's a big he's man. Not a, he's not really an athlete, right. but he has a great command of that pitch. Yeah. Yeah. Soccer players are athletes. Yeah. You got to be able to run. You got to be. What able I to tell run. my. You know, soccer plays is if you can't run, you can't play. So that's run, it. flexibility, coordination, yep. eye, head, eye yep. contact. Yep. And as you know, it's an intelligent game. All coaches don't make a lot of decisions for you. You got to make the decision. Not like football. You know, it's uh, yeah, it's all really, on the spot. Yeah, really, no time out. You got to think split ahead. Split decision. Yeah. So yep. I want to thank you. Yeah, that's great. I want you to enjoy your pumpkin fest. Yeah. Hopefully, it won't rain. No. It's it would going, look like it, but it, it's going back and forth. Yeah, a little bit. So, yeah, so again, no. though, thanks, thanks again. Well, it's a great activity. Let's so. run into thanks, Chris. Again. Yeah, good luck okay, with everything. Yeah. yeah, thank you. And good luck at soccer, and I know you enjoy the new middle school. Yeah. <laughs> We're okay. Hello. Hi. You find
from the Keene area? No. Where are you from? Primal, Connecticut. First time at the Pumpkin Fest? No, we've been here about five or six years now. Have you ever been here on a good weather day? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same every time. It's windy, uh, cold. And... They've moved it up a week and hoping to get good weather? I thought we were going to get good weather until that northeasterner came in. Yep. No, we just haven't had that luck. Let's just hope we have it next year, though. Yeah, we're hoping. You know, I, I, we should have the Pumpkin Fest. There's some other people interested. It's a character. It defines Keen. Right. And we drive two and a half hours every year just for this event, so it's a good time. Say it again so we can get more sponsors to put on. Definitely. You drive, you drive two and a half hours just to come to the Pumpkin yeah. Fest. And then two and a half hours back, so. Five hours. Five hours. So what do you think of the Pumpkin Fest? <laughs> That's all right. It seems like every time as a kid comes in and they have the microphone, they all become shy. <laughs> yeah, but get them home with their sister. Oh, yeah. That's a whole other story. <laughs> Fighting and throwing stuff. Yeah. So, but, but they had an enjoyable time last night because they're carving their pumpkins. and. So you came, you, you make it a weekend, right? No, nope, just for the day. Oh, so you, you drive up in the morning, hang so out. So you actually for... brought pumpkins. Yeah, definitely. Oh, that's yep. good. Yeah. You can't go to the pumpkin fest without bringing pumpkins. Nope, that's what it's all about. If definitely. you break the record, you're a part of it. Well, we were here for the record a few years back, and then Boston took it out. It's like, you know. Well, and one of the gentlemen were telling me that Boston, they bought a bunch of pumpkins and they hired people with the yeah mechanized yeah, right, right, cutters. Right. That isn't fair. No, nope, not at all. And plus, Boston, six. 600,000 people. Team's only 22,000. You know what? It's like Little League playing the New York Plus, you like the quaintness of the town the atmosphere. And it's just a fun day to be out there. So do you go to any of the shops around the corner and buy some trinkets and stuff? The kettle corn. The We're kettle, here for the kettle, kettle corn. corn. That's my wife. My wife says, you make sure you buy the kettle corn so right. my grandson buy it and bring it over here. And my wife and other daughter are in line right now. We figured we'd come back and check out the bunkers while they're waiting. Yeah, you know, that's one of the big things. Kettle corn and fried dough. Yep. They did. And the um, <coughs> candy apples, too. The Got candy those. apples. Well, I'm getting older. My teeth are yeah, a little Well, that's loose. for the kids. <laughs> yeah, that's for the kids. So. Well, okay. Well, thank you and enjoy yourself. Thanks. Okay. Bye-bye. Yep. <coughs> Who can we find now? Well, it's getting quite dark, overcast. <clears throat> How's it going, sir? This your pumpkin fest? This your first pumpkin fest? No, no, second time. Second? Second time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to keep to the camera. Don't want to get my butt showing, right? How's it going? Pretty good. How are you? Pretty good. You handing out the free donuts or you're eating all the free donuts? I'm just eating them. <laughs> I just bought them. They gave me a free hat. Oh, well, you know what? I don't know where there's a Krispy Kreme around here, but... Not very far. They said they had to stay over in Connecticut overnight. So they they come all... The Krispy Kreme comes all the way up here just for the pumpkin fest. Yep. Aren't you glad they came here? You oh, get a whole oh, yeah. dozen donuts and a free hat. Yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have a good one. You too. <clears throat> Chili and fried baked cornbread for the New Hampshire Special Olympics. New Hampshire Special Olympics, and I'm, t uh, I'm coming around taking orders. I'll deliver. You deliver? Anybody? Yeah, I'm delivering. Anybody okay. Want, uh, you want one? Let's see. Yeah, bring one over in about a half hour. Half hour? And okay. I'll, I'll do. Chili, we got, uh, it's not too spicy because you got to do it for the crowd, but you want <laughs> cheese on it and hot sauce or no? Yeah, of course. Cheese and hot no. sauce and cornbread. Do you know any marina doesn't have hot sauce? There you go. Hey, good luck to you. Okay, uh, what time is it now? It's about 4.20. 4.20, so when you want? About 5? Yeah. So, how much you guys hope to, to do on, on this? How much does it help you? Uh, quite a bit. Uh, this is, well, we're a group called the Frozen Sections, who our main event of the year is doing the Penguin Plunge the first Sunday in February. It's the, big, it. it's the big fundraiser of the year for the Special Olympics, New Hampshire Special Olympics. I'll take the chili. You'll get the and chili. I'll yeah, take right, the chili right, and the cornbread right, yeah. before going yeah, out. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I might do it before I plunge this <laughs> next February. Do the chili and the cornbread. So but, I mean, no, so this, I, I don't know, we made, uh, uh, you know, I'm hoping that we make three to $4,000. From the Pumpkin Fest? Yeah, from the Pumpkin Fest. So losing the pumpkin fest would have a serious dent on the services that you can help a oh, lot of yeah. people. Oh, yeah, and the other thing is, you know, we got a whole bunch of special limpids working with us over at the booth, and, you know, they love it, and they're a great help, and, uh, yeah, we raised the money for them. 
and they want to feel valued, and this gives them the opportunity to feel valued. Oh, yeah, no question. They actually, about seven of them plunge every year with us <laughs> and raise money on their own with help of the caseworkers. So, no, it's a great thing. And, and the money that we raise, it's New Hampshire Special Olympics, but it's really the Cheshire Division. We have about 100 athletes uh, in this region. And I know you, um, the rec center, was it last year, they had a big event for Special Olympics at the rec center, a basketball tournament? Right, right, right. They did. They did. That's kind of Andy Bohannon's uh, Andy Bohannon thing. does a great yeah, job. Yeah, he does a great job. And Mike Solsi at the uh, high school and Andy here. And we got a very dedicated fam family group, you know, the parents and everything for the Special Olympics. No, it's a great thing. Okay. So I'll see you about 5 o'clock. When you raise money for the Special Olympics, everybody's a winner. Everybody's a winner. Right, okay. 5 How's it going, man? How's it going? It is going very well. Well, you know, I can't call you a witch because, right? Or can well, I? Well, you can call me what you want, but you better be careful. Okay. <laughs> you know, it's one of those tough ones, you know, when a lady dresses up as a witch. You don't know. This is really an outfit or is this for real? And so, you from Keene? No, we're from San Martin, New Hampshire. I brought that whole group of Girl Scouts down that you talked to earlier. And so they're having a good time? They are. Did they bring their pumpkins? They did. We oh. brought 11 pumpkins and got them all registered in. So So if we get the record, your girls will be a record, part will, of the record breakers. They will be. Are we close this year? Do you know? Have you heard? Yeah. Uh, I haven't heard anything. They usually don't say anything until it's really until close it's, to the Until it's released. It's released at 9 tonight? Yeah, 9. 9 o'clock. And um, the Girl Scout program. Yeah. Is it still growing? Yes. Because for a while it kind of like dropped off and um, I know the, the Boy Scouts had a bunch of negative stuff and I think that was having an effect on some of them. I think so, but the Girl, Girl Scouts is a strong program. We have combined in New Hampshire with Vermont. Okay. And so now it's one large council for the two states and uh, we offer programs now that are really based on the girls discovering and connecting and taking action into the community. And so as they do that, then they're, we're teaching them leadership skills. Okay, well. So I have, uh, I have a seventh grader, I have a whole slew of eighth graders and some ninth graders, and they've been with me for, most of them have been with me for seven years. Oh, good. So we have a grand time. Okay, well, thank you for coming. Thanks so much. And thank you for taking care of the girls. Awesome, thank you. Okay. <clears throat> Dean. Hey, Chris. Hey, come on over. Hey. We can sit down and get a chair. How are you? Good. Cold hands. <laughs> yeah, it's cold. That's why I put them in my pocket. I know you're not supposed to, but it's getting cold. <clears throat> I'll give you this. Thank you. We going live? We're going to go live. We're going to tape the thing, but oh, he'll okay. be on TV in a couple weeks. This pot. <clears throat> you're downtown. What is that doing to your business compared to normal years? We have our first couple months have been doubled compared to what we did at Colony Mill. So coming downtown was just a, a brilliant move, and we love being downtown. We love the activity. We, the store is just extraordinary, so we're really thrilled. Because I went in there looking for you. That's what they just said. It's jam-packed. Jam-packed, wall-to-wall. And none of the people look familiar. <laughs> that, that's true. That's true. And, I, you know, I think people forget that this Pumpkin Fest is not just about um, local people. This is about bringing in tourists and not just for one day. These people come back again and again. Once they've experienced this, they keep coming back to Keene. So, so this is really a long-term venture. It's not just one day that interrupts our cycle. I just talked to a gentleman from Connecticut. Excuse me. He drives up two and a half hours, fifth year in a row. He comes with his daughter. We carve the pumpkin and specifically drive up here just for the pumpkin fest. Yep. Ye yesterday we were loaded all day with out-of-state people. Uh, I saw a Quebec license plate yesterday and a Wisconsin license plate. The, um, I kept track of the license plates in Keene. I saw all states, including Hawaii and Alaska, except Idaho and South Dakota. Wow. Here, this week? Here, in, 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 well, during the summer. All okay, the summer yeah. In Keene. Right. And it's like Keene is a small, quaint town. The Pumpkin Fest has been on a number of magazines. It's been broadcast around the world. It's broadcast, and people come you to bet. Keene. Yep. All over. Yep. It's like, normally, why would you want to come to Keene? Yep, they come back all four seasons after they experience this. The, um, and the other part, the, you, it seems like you're the lead. You help changing the dynamics of the downtown area. You've got a lot of your um, 
compatriots from your other biz areas coming in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody's coming downtown. And the other stores tell me that they've, their business has increased since I moved downtown. At least one store has uh, increased their hours and opened Sunday for the first time because we're generating more traffic, which is, which is very nice. And like when you're talking about all four, six, you can come downtown in Keene, 7, 8, 9 o'clock, and your store's open. Yep. You've got people going. Even if it's late, when I take my wife and I go out for a walk, you got your TV monitor on, yes. and there's people standing there looking, watching yep. that TV. Watching the Food Network 24-7. And so it has not such a positive effect yeah. on Keene. Well, I, I, if that's the case, I'm really pleased. I mean, I just like to do what I do and do it well. And if, if everybody else uh, gets a taste of it, that's great. Because like you're saying is when people come to see you, in a lot of cases, a lot of the people that come to see you are upper and high end customers, mm -hmm. customers that have the money. Yep. And so, and it, they don't have to be. We have stuff for a dollar and a quarter, nine ninety nine. Yep. <laughs> but people come in. People yes. come to town. They spend. They stay at the Marriott. They stay at the EF Lane. Yes. They stay. In, like you're saying, it's a whole. Yep. The Marriott says they see our bags going going through through their uh, quarters a lot. So. Um, it's just good for everybody. It's not just it's not just for my business. I mean, we're all we've, we're not an enclosed mall, but we function as one. I think you know we all support each other. And we all should support each other. And how much of an effect did you think if we did away with the pumpkin fest on the identity of King? I think it will have a. I mean, certainly we've got 20 years of history of people. You know, thousands and tens of thousands of people coming. But like I said earlier, it's not about one day, it's about year-round tourism, that this affects year-round tourism. So uh, to stop the Pumpkin Fest will have some effect. And when you look at the people, there's never been, all the time I've been here, I've never seen rowdy people. Nope. People just seem to be enjoying themselves. It's a well-behaved crowd, people are smiling all over the place, waving at other people, taking pictures like crazy. Yeah, making all kinds of money, I think last year about a quarter of a million dollars for nonprofits. For no, that, and that's something that's not going to be replaced. If the Pumpkin Fest stops, nonprofits are going to have to do some serious um, kicking around to get that, that kind of money. I think some of the nonprofits would have to go out of business without the Pumpkin Fest. Yeah, yeah and, and that would be sorry. And we were talking earlier about not with your business in there, other business, but other businesses like the Grange and Bank of Walpole and CNS who are giving up their um, property to allow a lot of these organizations mm -hmm. to raise money. Yep. It's a very generous thing to do, and that would be a big loss for them. I, I, think, I think people really miss all of these details when they talk about stopping Pumpkin Fest. I mean, it's just, it, it just spreads out so far and wide. And part of it, is, the other part I don't think people, and as I look, you may have turnover of four to five people every, because you don't, have, very rarely do you have someone come in at 9 o'clock and stay at 9 o'clock. You have people come here for two or three hours, they leave and they keep constantly being replaced. So all if, day long. If you have sixty thousand people at any one time, you may have one hundred and fifty to two hundred thousand people. That's that right. Going all day. Yeah, half of these people who are here right now won't be here at eight o'clock tonight, but a whole nother crowd will replace and them. And they weren't here this morning. Right. Exactly. So, so it's huge. I mean, they estimate the crowd. I think around seventy-five thousand. But yeah. Overall, it, you're right. It probably ends up being more. Far more. Yeah. So I want to thank you for coming over. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And I, I appreciate everything that you do for the community. I appreciate that, too. Yeah, because it's, uh, you know, I was, I was born in this area, raised here. I went to high school here. I can't help but want to be part of it and, and make it work. And I'll put you on the spot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what I would like to do, you're really involved in um, local business and transplants. Yes. What I would like you to be able to, maybe in December or January, when you, I know when you're not as busy yeah. because you're being all over, working, what, 100 yeah. hours a week? I, well, I'm working a lot these days, yeah. <laughs> is, let's sit down and talk. I would like to be able to have a show and talk to the people, educate them about transplants. I would love to talk about organ transplants. It's near and dear to my heart because my wife has had two kidney transplants and a pancreas transplant, and she is currently on a waiting list for a uh, new kidney because she's in kidney failure again. I would love to talk about it. Because I don't think people understand how they can sign up for it, how their relatives and loved ones can also sign up for it. And the most important thing I always tell people, there's three important things. Tell your family, tell your family, tell your family. They're the ones who make the decision. So no matter what you sign, no matter what's in your wallet, tell your family. It's, that's, that's the key right there. 
So let's shoot. If everybody who could donate would donate, there would not be a shortage of organs. So maybe after maybe in the second, third week in January. Anytime you want, that. I would so love it. I don't want to mess up your holiday season. <laughs> you know, for that, I'd do it right in the middle of Christmas. I don't care. But I think it's important. Yep. And I think maybe we can do it so in such a way that if other public access TV shows want it, I'm pretty sure they can send the disc to them and be um Sure. Because it, it needs to go statewide, region wide. Because it's it's a really important issue. Yeah. Yeah, very important. <clears throat> have the best medical care in the world doesn't do any good if you don't have the organs to transplant. Yep. Yeah, my wife was, was uh, after being a diabetic all her life, was insulin-free for 10 years because of a transplant of pancreas that she got that came from a 9-year-old boy. You know, God bless the parents of that child in their midst of their grief who, who reached out to somebody they didn't know, like my wife, and changed her life and changed my life. Yeah. So thanks, Chris. Okay. Well, thank you. All right. Okay. And good luck with your store. Thanks. Yeah. Have to see it. Appreciate it. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see if we can get these pumpkin guys coming. A few pumpkin heads. <clears throat> All right. Come on down then. <laughs> Can I get away with calling you guys pumpkin heads? You, you could do that. I could called, do that. We've been called worse. Well, I'm not going worse. You sure? I'm um, sure. Okay. Okay, I got to turn around. I, I'm not very good at this stuff, so they keep getting my backside. So, this is your first pumpkin fest? No, we've been here two or three times in the past. Where are you from? We're from Rocky Hill, Connecticut. Another people from Connecticut. Yeah, an hour, two, an hour, two hour drive, two, not Two too hours bad. away. Well, that's good because, you know, we got some people are thinking about shutting down this pumpkin fest. Why? Why? It, they say it costs too much, too much of a hassle, but we're doing our best. We, people like you saying we're driving two hours, two and a half. It's on our calendar. It's on your calendar. We're like, we black off this week for next year. I mean, like, this is a staple. Of okay. Because we just had another individual from Connecticut. He's been here for five years. Yeah. He brings, he drives up two and a half hours with his daughter. They carved the pumpkin just to come here. So did we. we last night, we all carved our pumpkins to be counted. But this and, is great for the community and great for New Hampshire. It is. People come from all over the place, this thing we talk to people about. It would be a shame for them to cancel something like this. Yeah, a whole it would bunch be. of people from work down in central Connecticut, they were all coming up here today, so. We'll make sure that gets to everybody here and you hopefully keep new the sponsors. Keep festival alive. Okay. Right. Thanks a lot. Hi. Hi, how's it going? Good. So what's your name? Rachel Prentice. Where are you from? Drake in Massachusetts. That's by Cape Cod? Is uh, it? No. That's north, north, north Boston. Yeah, but it's by Boston. Okay, um, I grew up in Four River. I knew, I heard the name, but I was just trying to figure the place it. <laughs> We're kind of all one package. All one package? <laughs> this is our first time here. This is yeah. Your first time here? Yes. We live close enough, but we've never made it. This is unbelievable. We live like two and a half hours. So two and a half hours? Yeah. Well, hopefully, well, people like you will get a chance to come at the second one. Yes, this is awesome. Like we'll keep this going. Yep. This can't end. No, it can end. Yes, no, it can't. It's fabulous. Hopefully the weather will be better. We thought we were going to have the good weather until that it northeastern nice, came though. in. It's okay, though. This is not raining. Right? <laughs> it's not raining. Yeah. And you know what? You have some Thanksgiving games down in Massachusetts that are much worse weather. Yes, <laughs> yes. And you have to go to those games that you're not cool. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think about the Boston Red Sox staying home? Yay! <laughs> Okay. I'm a Yankee fan. So. Okay. <laughs> speaking, about, <laughs> speaking about the Yankees, what happened? I went to bed last night. It was 5 0. I thought the Yankees were down the okay. tubes. Then I wake up in the they morning. Won. The evil empire strikes back, yeah, scoring right. five runs to win. <laughs> yes, they did. Yeah, the Yankees won last night, 6 to 5, yes, with five did. runs in the eighth inning. Going to the World Series. They're going to go to the World Series? Yes, Think they they'll beat Philly? Yes, they will. Uh, no, absolutely. Yes, no. yes, 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 yes. <coughs> so Yankees are beating Philly? Yep. yep. No, they ain't doing it. Yep. <coughs> oh, okay. And when you come back next year, we'll find no, out. Right, we'll see who is right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Will you still be here? Huh? Will you still be here? <coughs> I will be here next year. The pumpkin fest better be here, right? Yeah. Okay. And so what's your name? Brandon. Where are you from, Brandon? Connecticut. Connecticut. Everybody driving up from Connecticut. Two, three hours? Three, yeah. Three hours. Did you bring a pumpkin? No. If you come back, you got to carve your pumpkin, you got to bring it. 
because if you set the record, you, you want to be able to go back and tell your friends that you broke a world's record, right? Wouldn't that be cool? Can break that. <clears throat> that record? You can not. Well, we're trying to break the record that Boston has. We're only about 900 pumpkins behind Boston. But Boston cheats. They get pumpkins and they had these machines that cut, cut the jack o' lanterns out. <laughs> That's cheating. That isn't fair, right? That's something the Yankees would do and George Steinbrenner would do, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the Yankees are going to win. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the Yankees are going to win. Okay. <clears throat> huh? Excuse me, can I talk to you real quick? Yeah. Uh, basically, we are from the area. We own businesses in the area. Yep. And we, we were wondering if we could talk to um, put something on the news saying that we want to sponsor the event next year by donating some money <clears throat> and stuff like that. Okay, yes. Yeah. And your names? My, my name is KT Patel. Okay. And my name is Umesh Patel. We are from Jamson Hotel Management, and we manage Best Western and Days Inn in Keene, New Hampshire. And you, you and basically, this is such a great event that we would love to sponsor next year by donating seventy-five hundred dollars. That's both the hotels combined, so the the event could go on next year. We want to just we want to be happen every year, you know. Because this is such a great <coughs> event, bringing everybody from New, all over New England into this little area. Yeah. And we even get some people from Canada and stuff. Oh, yes. Yeah. And people come and they stay at the hotels and enjoy the restaurant. And this is a big event for us, too. Pe people can come from out of state, you know. So. <coughs> that was one of the big things that I'm on a city council that we're always talking about. Because the city council puts about $60,000 worth okay. into help. Yeah. And they kept saying is... What about the local businesses? Yes. A lot of the hotels and stuff, they get jam-packed. They, they make. That's so. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this is beneficial to business. Yeah. And we were told that places up north, people in Brattleboro and other yep. places, they get filled up for the pumpkin fest. Yes, they are. They and are. so why doesn't some of the businesses donate and help keep well, this thing going? I'm here to help. Also, I can go to the hotels, other businesses. If city need help, I'm here. And they'll be here to help give a healthy yes. hand. And so, I don't know who, if you go to the city hall mm -hmm. and go to the mayor's office, they can tell you who's going to be in charge of it. Okay. And okay. then we can get this going because as soon as the pumpkin fest is over tomorrow, yeah. they're going to stop planning for the next one. So, they yeah, need so to know definitely. if there's going to be people there. So, Monday also we'll stop by. Yeah, so Monday. If you, if you can pass this card, I will, do, I will pass. can give us a call on my cell phone number. Yeah, we'll pass yeah, it on. To, yes, definitely. And I want to thank you both. Oh, 7,500 no is the start. Oh, yes. And right, hopefully right. a lot of other businesses oh, yes. will join in. Because you know how it is. This is you embarrass them. Yeah, yeah you embarrass counts. them. They said we can do better. And well, every drop counts. There's a few better hotels too, you know. So, <laughs> they should put 10,000, like Express and Courtyard yeah. and like yeah. that. They got money, yeah. yeah. yeah they, they can got, do it. They make more money than us. They make more money than you. Yeah. And again, thank you. All right. Thank you very okay. much. Okay. So, it looks like we got our first um, potential donor for next year. We got a bid, a donation of $7,500 at Best Western Hotel. And they're challenging a number of the other people over here to um, match them or do better. They want the Pumpkin Fest to go. As we've seen people from... A lot of people from Connecticut driving two, three hours just to come up here. We've had other people that circle on their calendar making plans. They want the Pumpkin Fest to go on. And so they're asking other people, other businesses to help donate money to keep this going. Everybody who benefits from this should be contributing to this, helping us make money. <clears throat> so you're standing here, you all want to come on, right? Yeah, so what's your name? Alyssa. Alyssa? I'm Haley. Yep. Cows. Mimi. Mimi. <laughs> Mimi. That's your name or no. your position? Yeah, that's your cat. Mimi. Mimi. And they gotta keep this thing going. They gotta, where are you from? How from Sutton. Sutton? New yeah. Hampshire. Sutton, New Hampshire? They live in Goshen. Yeah, I live in Goshen. And I live in Goshen. She lives Goshen. here on the weekend. They cut 26 pumpkins to break 26 down. pumpkins? Yeah. <laughs> yep. So. If they, we break the record, you guys played a big role. That's yep. right. That's right. They so, did. They did? Yeah. You didn't do any? The little kids. Oh, my other, she's gone. My other granddaughter. <laughs> you didn't so, do any, Mimi? Before with them. <laughs> would you? Mimi, you can No, but them. Bumper will sponsor anything. You can carve them in the tent. They have tents for you. Yeah. 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 We can all so, do them. So, how many, time, how many times have you been here? Oh, four times. Four times? My fifth time. Fifth time? This is pretty much my second time, I think. 
So you it definitely want it to be the third time next year, right? Yeah, no, because I went with mom one year. I went with mom and, yeah, it's been more than that. Then. So maybe one, have you ever been here when we had a good weather day? Didn't we have one about three, four years ago? That's the one we missed. One, no, yeah. I, I made it to that one. So I missed that one. So. When you were little, when we came with Kathy and Freddie and George, Jordan, yeah. it, it was, was a, a good, good day. day. With the sun was it out. It was yeah. really windy, though. Yeah, because yeah. we had, what, a year or two ago, it was really rainy. Oh, yeah. It was yeah. cold yeah. and biting. Yeah. So they moved it back up forward a week, and hopefully the weather would For get better. Weather. Yeah. We were doing really good until that northeastern had changed everything. It yeah. came out of the clear blue. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So what do we have to do? Right to the mayor and sponsor, get sponsored. Right to the mayor. Yeah, right to the mayor. Have it again. You know, you do letters to the editor, yep. to the King Sentinel, and say, hey, we enjoyed it. This is yep. where we're coming from. If they got we, enough sponsors. We want this. Yeah. Because it helps define the team, it helps define, it helps define the, the area. <laughs> the community. It's the community. As thing. a community, it's a good family event. It's a good family event, great. like we're saying. It's well, not well, rowdy. That's right. It's much better this year without the dogs. Yep. I saw a few. There's a few. Right. There's always a few. They, never didn't, get, they, didn't, they, they didn't, didn't get the, the message. message. <laughs> they didn't get the message. And like I was telling to the gentleman who owns a new kitchen store, which brought down here, yeah. we have turnover all day. Yeah. So chances are, we probably have 150 to 200,000 people that come before the day's over. Hey. I think so, good yep. Event. Right to the let it to the editors, get a bunch oh, of the kids from the school and say, hey, we caught pumpkins, this is what we do, this is what we want. Yeah. And then again, it also benefits about a quarter of a million and helps a lot of the charities. Boy Scout, full, yeah. Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, Special Olympics, right. volunteer right. firemen. Yeah, I'm all for all that. Okay. Well, we'll give you the opportunity to go and spend some money, help the economy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hello. Come on up. What's your name? Ava. What? Ava. Yeah? Ava. Ava. Yeah. And your name? Rachel. Rachel? Where are you guys from? From Keene. You're from Keene. Yeah. That's not too bad. Did you cut, pump, cut pumpkins in school? Yeah. <laughs> what school do you go to? Fuller. Fuller? Yeah. <clears throat> My granddaughter goes to Fuller. What grade are you in? Fifth. Fifth. She's in first grade. They were carving. Yeah. When do we carve the pumpkins? I think Wednesday night. Yeah. I'm getting too old, and I'm sitting down. My knees were cracking and everything, sitting on that gym floor. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> uh, I got pumpkins too. Uh, I had a keen middle school. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh my gosh, it's Kitch. Hi. <laughs> you must know the camera, Chris. Yeah, I know the cameraman. <clears throat> yep. Right. So you having fun? Yeah. What do we do? Oh no. You don't know what we did? We no, went to no. see movies at the Colonial. Oh yeah. What movie did you see? We saw. What do we see? Yep, we saw Tom and Jerry. Oh, they always have Tom and Jerry. Do yep. You like Tom and Jerry? Mm hmm. You're going to stay up for the fireworks or you're going to fall asleep? We are going to stay up for the fireworks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They'll be fun, and right? For the pumpkins to light up. For the pumpkins to light up? Yeah. So. Hopefully it won't rain and get really windy because it'd be no fun to have the wind blow yeah, all the yeah. pumpkins out. Yeah. Yep. They don't count if there's no wind, if there's no light, right? Yeah. <laughs> then, the, then the fire would blow out. That's right. you got to have them all lit. They yeah. only count if they're lit. Yep. Okay. All right. Have fun. Thank you. So, Bye. <clears throat> so uh, I'll get down to your level. Come on over. Oh, stand over here. Stand over here. We, we don't want to see all the backs of you. Come on, you can stand over here. Okay. What's your name? Chase. Chase. I guess the tooth fairy has been seeing you lately, huh? <laughs> Give you a lot of money? No, no, not really. Not really. You know, yeah. Some of them not as rich as they used to be, right? I swallowed one, actually. Oh, you swallowed it? Yeah. Yeah, that's not good. You can't get any money if you swallow it. <laughs> your name? Tyler Summers. Tyler, what school do you go to? JD, Johnson John, Jonathan Daniels. Daniels. What grade? Yep. Fourth. Fourth grade? So how is a saber tooth tiger? Um, fast. <laughs> fast? Yeah, and we, I carved a, like, Martian at my school. You carved a Martian on your pumpkin? Yeah, Martian. <clears throat> okay, what, it, what's your name? Aaron. Aaron? Yeah. So how do you like the saber tooth tiger? Um, <laughs> 
Did you go for the repeat or yeah. you just do it once? I did it once. Once? Did you go for the repeat? No, we've all done it once. <clears throat> yeah. What school do you go to? Jaffrey. Jaffrey? So you drove. Why do you guys always do that? But my dad, <laughs> um, but my dad is lives in Troy, so I get to go to his house. Yeah. So your name? Dallin. Dallin. You carve any pumpkins? Yes, I did. Oh, you seen a tooth fairy too, huh? Yes. <laughs> did you bring a pumpkin? Yeah. Yeah. So don't feel bad about it, cause I don't have any front teeth either. You don't? No. Let me see. <clears throat> what happens when I was in fourth grade, I was running and I tried to do a flip on the um, desk and I slipped and my face went right into the floor and I left my teeth in the floor. Oh. Wasn't very smart. That was gross. It was gross. You know, but you know how fourth grade boys, they can do some really dumb things, can't they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't do dumb things. It's only dumb if you get caught, right? <laughs> if you don't get caught, it's not dumb, right? Extra wants to be on TV. Oh, uh, extra too? <clears throat> so, that's extra? You don't do dumb things, do you? No. No? Okay. Hello, extra. Okay. Let's see the fireman over here. You're going to see that later? Okay, he's on TV. How's it going? Oh. And your name? Cole. Cole? Jason, Your father a fireman? Right behind you, buddy. What do you think of the pumpkin trust? This your first one? Yep. Where are you from? Concord and Manchester. Concord, Man Concord or Manchester? Either one. Either one. <laughs> so you're having a good time? Yep. At least it's keeping you warm, right? Right. So if it rains, it's still going to be dry. Right. You're going to make a lot of people jealous if it's raining and cold. Yeah. So you bring a pumpkin with you? Yep. So you carve it? So you think you're going to break a record tonight? Sort of. So did you get any of the junk food yet? <laughs> One. Did you get any freebie candy or donuts? <clears throat> pizza. Pizza. Yeah, you can't come here without pizza, right? Pizza's not really junk food if you put all the vegetables on top, right? Right. It's I, got <laughs> I just got cheese pizza. Well, cheese is good for you. It's like milk, right? Okay, I gotta have to get up. I'm getting old and stiff. Okay, thank you for talking and have fun. Okay, so you rode, uh, what's your name? Lauren. So you rode the saber tooth tiger? Kind of fast? A little scary at times? <laughs> you go up and you jump and it's like, zoom, you're right down there, huh? Mm -hmm. Where are you from? Marlboro. Marlboro? So you didn't have to drive very far, huh? No. So, you bring a pumpkin? No, didn't Marlboro School kids carve a bunch of pumpkins? Yeah. So they, the school brought them for you, right? Yeah. So you still count. You did a pumpkin. You gotta give yourself credit. <laughs> <laughs> and your name? Sean. Sean? Boy, how come all you guys, you're, you're wild and everything, and you get a mic in front of you, and all of a sudden you get yeah. kind of shy? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> so what school do you go to? Fuller Elementary. Fuller? What grade? Fifth. Fifth. So. We know Fuller did a lot of pumpkins. <laughs> so how many did you carve? I only carved one. Only carved one? Yep. Okay. So guys, go have a good time. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. How are you doing? Good. What school do you go to? Uh, I'm homeschooled. Homeschooled? Yeah. <clears throat> my four, three grandsons down in Georgia, my, my daughter was a teacher. She homeschools the kids. Isn't it? Well, you know what? Sometimes when you homeschool, you get rambunctious at times. Do you get kind of rambunctious at times? Yeah, she has a bunch of land outside, so when my grandson Cole gets a little rambunctious, she sends him outside to make him run around for a while, brings him back in to do his homework. <laughs> you don't ever do that, right? No? So this is your first pumpkin fest? Uh, no. You enjoy it? You bring yes. a pumpkin? Yes. Okay, good. Have a good time. Thank you. Is this your friend behind you? Yes. How's it going? I'm good. You're getting cold, huh? Mm, not really. <laughs> I'm getting cold. That's why I keep my hands in my pocket, huh? 
So you got Yankee fan? Uh, yeah. So you like last night, huh? I was telling him, I went to bed last night and the game was 5 nothing. I said, oh, the Texas are going to win this. Wake up in the morning, it says the Maybe evil umpire. Texas is going to win this. Wait a second. Well, at 5 o'clock last, I mean, when I went to bed, it was like, we're in the sixth inning, it's 5 nothing. Texas is going to win. Then it's in the morning paper, it says the evil empire strikes back. Yankees win 6-5. That's right. <laughs> so what school do you go to? Uh, Franklin. Franklin, so that's right up the road. What grade are you in? Uh, fifth. So you have Mr. Harris as a principal. You never go to his office for trouble, do you? No. no that's good. Okay. Take care. Thank no you. problem at all. So I gotta admit, you're probably a Yankee fan, right? I can assume that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, come on down then. Look, how are you doing? Good. Good. How are you? Good. That's Where good. are you from? Texas. Texas. I, I moved here this summer. Oh, okay. You didn't drive all the way from. Te- no. Oh, you you drove from Texas this summer, but not now. Yeah. Okay. You drove. Yeah, you drove. You well, drove I, from like, Texas. Like, like my dad did. Well, yeah. I flew. Where are you from? Keene. Keene. Yeah. What grade are you in? Eighth. Seven. I'm in eighth grade. Oh. So, you go. Joking? So you'll be the last kid to graduate from the old middle school. Yeah. You'll be the first kid no, to graduate. No, no, no. I'm with them. in eighth grade. Yeah. He, oh, you just said you were in seventh grade. No, he's in seventh. Grade. No, I'm not. He should, be. He should be. In seventh grade. No, I shouldn't. Yeah. Are you, I'm thirteen. Are you in twelve? No, he's in okay, who's in eighth grade? We're both in eighth grade. Okay, so you guys will be the last ones to graduate out of the old middle school. Yeah. Okay. So you know what? If you're in eighth grade, you should know if you're between eighth and seventh grade. Yeah, I know I'm in eighth grade. <laughs> yeah, but he's he doesn't. Stupid. I'm smarter than you, dude. I'm in advanced math. Oh yeah, you're in. You're yeah, in I'm a nerd. <laughs> Beat that. You know, if you're in eighth grade, you're the king of the hill, right? Yeah. Kind of. Beat up all the seventh graders. No, no, no. That's bullying. You can't beat up seventh graders yeah, anymore. There's a law. There's a law. Oh, that was a joke. I don't really beat up seventh graders. Okay, okay. We're just holding you to it. You know, yeah, yeah. you're on TV. You don't want the um, the principal to go and find out oh, I beat up seventh graders. Yeah. <laughs> you okay. Yeah. Okay. Now you get your girlfriends want to come on. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You gonna come on? Yeah. Come on. Hello. 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 You guys from Keene? Yes. What school do you go to? Keene Middle School. What grade are you in? Eighth. Three. All of us. Yeah. You're all in eighth grade. Yeah. Uh-huh. So you guys, like those two guys, you're gonna this. You're the last class of the old middle school. Yeah. yeah. Don't you wish you were in seventh grade so you can go to new middle school? No. Okay, that's the right answer. Once you're in eighth grade, you never want to go back, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you ready? You want to be ready for the high school? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. So, what do you think about getting ready to go to the new? I mean, to the high school. I don't want to go to high school. <laughs> You know, do. you don't want to go to high school. No. It can be scary at times. I bet. Well, I was lucked out because when I went to school, we had junior high, and it was seventh, eighth, ninth. <laughs> and then when you went to high school, with tenth grade, so no one could pick on you being a freshman. <laughs> so, so what do you think of the pumpkin fest? It's fun. It's yeah. fun. It's cold. <laughs> but at least it's not raining like it could be. Yeah. So. Yeah. So have a good time. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You're welcome. <clears throat> Boy, it is really getting cold, huh? <clears throat> Want to come in? Where are you from? Milford, Milford, Milford. New Hampshire. Milford, New Hampshire. Yeah. Football player or Yankee fan or both? Both. We're both, both on the same team. Football team. Yeah. Is it a middle school football team or a Pop uh, Warner? It's um, elementary. Pee-wee. Yeah. Pee-wee. Pee-wee? Is yeah. It in school or outside of school? Is that kind of like a Pop outside Warner? Outside school. Yeah. So, outside. what positions you guys play? Um, right center. tackle. Right tackle, center. center. So, did you watch that game between um, the Vikings and the Jets last week? Yeah, I was going to try to, but I couldn't. Whose fault was that when the ball came up from the center and Brett Fodd dropped it? Um, him. Yeah, he didn't, have his, he didn't have his hands together, right? Yeah. yeah. Isn't the quarterback always supposed to have his hands mm-hmm. together and playing, paying yeah. attention when the, the ball comes up from the center? Yeah. yeah. But you know what? Quarterbacks always like to blame it on the center. Yeah. You need to put the ball in the right place, right? Yeah. So how do you enjoy football? Good. It's my fourth year. Um, tomorrow's our last football game for the season. For the season. Yeah. Yeah. And so what grade are you guys in? Fifth. Fifth. So then you get ready to go to middle school, right? Yeah. Does your middle school have a football team? Yeah. 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 
Yeah, no, yeah, no. <laughs> so you guys will be all set to play for that, right? Yep. Okay. Oh, yeah, before you go, your name? Michael Boucher. Ben Lopez. Okay. Hope you enjoy yourself. You too. In there, and hopefully it doesn't rain on you. Yeah. And good luck in your football game tomorrow. Thanks. Bye. Okay. Bye. 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 <clears throat> You want to get? Come on! You want to get on the camera? Sure. What's no. For? How's it going? What's your name? Skyler. Skyler. Where are you from? Ringe. Ringe. This your first pumpkin fest? No. You like it? Yeah. You hope you want it next year? Yeah. So yeah, some people don't want the pumpkin fest. It costs too much money. But other people are saying it's worth coming here. Mm -hmm. So what would you want to tell the mayor? You tell the mayor keep the pumpkin fest. Keep the pumpkin fest. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> How's it going? Good. You a Marine? Yeah. Simplify. Thank you. I'm a Marine. You are? Oh, yeah, I retired. Did 21 years. What's your MOS? Uh, I'm a 7212 lad gunner. It's just fancy way for saying hey, I shoot stinger missiles. And yeah, that's the uh, yeah LAM, LAM battalion, right? Uh, low they, altitude air defense. Yeah. I guess same sort of thing. Yeah, I'm a, I was a combat engineer. Nice. In there, so how'd you hit your knee? Uh, I was combat training. I was doing some ground fighting and I tore my PCL. So. A lot of people don't understand how um, rough marine training could be. Yeah, I mean. No. I ripped, broke my collarbone, broke my shoulder, had a couple of knee surgeries. But it's, it's, in the end, it's all worth it, right? Yeah, it is. It is. definitely is. I suggest, you know, it's a, it's a good way to grow up, I guess, you know. And I tell people, of all the Marines I've met, anyone who's finished the Marine Corps successfully has always been a better person for being there. Yeah, it's true. It's, it's just history. It's one of those, when you go to boot camp, it's not... Nothing's given. You got to earn it. Yeah. And I'm talking to another one. I was reading about the army now. The army, you have a whole year after boot camp to pass the PFT. Oh my god. You think you get out of boot camp if you can't pass the PFT? No. You get sent. You get sent to a conditioning motivation, and you get stuck there longer <laughs> than you have to be. Do they still call it motivation or boot conditioning? I call it IT incentive yeah. training. It's the same thing. I mean, I've been. I've been out of boot camp for about two years, two and a half years now, so I mean, I don't know if they're doing anything differently, but, <laughs> wow, a year, really? <laughs> yeah, you have a year to, um, to pass your PFT. You do not have to pass your PFT in boot camp anymore. I don't, I don't associate myself with the Army, <laughs> so forget but, that. But you know what? <laughs> they're still good. they got a yeah, job no, to do. But the, you know, we all have a job to do, and, and it's all part of you know, fighting, the, fighting the fight. And, and we just think about it differently. Yeah, it's true. It? So good luck. Thank Enjoy you. yourself. Appreciate it. Simplify. Take it easy. And have a happy yeah, birthday right. next month. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> How's it going? So you get two, huh? What's their names? Um, this one's Alexis and this one's Caitlin. Alexis and Caitlin. How come that you have a hat on? They don't have a hat on. It's kind of cold. <laughs> you should have brought a hat, right? <laughs> I couldn't find barely anything. You couldn't find barely anything? I just kind of stuffed something on them. And... So what's your name? Destiny. Where are you from? Um, Keene. You're in Keene? Yes. So you don't have far to go if it starts raining really hard, huh? Uh, no. So you can go home, and if they do the fireworks, you can even see the fireworks from your window, can you? The smart one, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I had to put my boots on because I was freezing. <laughs> so good luck and have fun and hopefully we'll break a record, right? Okay. <clears throat> How's it going? Good. Good. How's it going? Where are you from? Uh, I'm from uh, Boston area. You're from Boston? Yep. You know those evil guys who cheated to break the record. Oh, uh, no, no. That's why <laughs> we made the trip up here because we wanted to, we wanted to make a peace with the keen folk again, you know? Because um, I heard that some of them, they got those automatic covers and stuff to get those extra pumpkins. You know, I didn't take part in it. I didn't see anything. I don't know what, what, what happened down there. But, you know, you what, Boston's about 600,000 people? I believe so, yep. We only have 22,000, and your guys only beat us by 900. 
Yeah, I mean, well, we, we all know down there that you guys have your act together, and uh, it, takes, it takes that many of us to compete. So, Well, I grew up in Four River, and I know that some of the events can be quite rowdy, especially in Four River, the Boston area. What do you think about the people? This seems quite calm, people oh, enjoying themselves. Oh, the people in here in New Hampshire and the surrounding area are great. It's, it's the best place to visit on Earth, so definitely highly recommend it. And you have no problem bringing your kids here. You, you feel safe when you have, if you had kids and stuff. And, Nice, Absolutely. comfortable place. Absolutely. Couldn't agree with you more. So hopefully you'll come back next year? we Will do. Absolutely. Did you bring a pumpkin with you? Uh, we did. Yes, absolutely. So. Good. So if we break a record, the man from Boston helped Keen return the record. That's right. Oh, That's okay. right. Okay. Okay. Yep, thank nice you. Speaking with you. Take yep. Care. How's it going? Good. What's your name? Megan. Where are you from, Megan? I'm from San Martin. Where's that? San Martin. Where's that? That's in New Hampshire in someplace. Oh, yes. you're going to look. Oh, you're going to. What? I got to go. <laughs> So that's pretty good. We got a gentleman from Boston. We got a gentleman from Boston who came all the way up here to Keene to take part of this pumpkin trust. He brought the pumpkin himself. Hopefully he can be part of the record breaking. He's gonna come back again. He recommends he highly recommends it for anybody in here. He said the people in Keene have their act together. Okay? So <clears throat> how's it going? A little nippy for shorts, huh? I'm actually from Alaska, so this is a warm spell for me. <laughs> it's a warm spell. <laughs> <laughs> Where in Massachusetts? Uh, Boston. Boston. Oh, another person from Boston. The otherwise, guy otherwise known as Wakefield. Okay, I was going to say, the people from Boston who cheated to take the record from us. Really? Buying, buying all those pumpkins and getting those automatic hand covers. Oh, I didn't hear about that. Yeah, so <clears throat> they're only, they only beat us by 900 about 900 pumpkins even thought they're 600,000 people. Wow. So what do you think about these pumpkins in Keene? They're all individually carved by a lot of kids and stuff? Our first time here. Your first time here? Yeah, yeah well, if you could ever find his wife, it's her birthday. <laughs> Should be fun. Should be fun. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> oh, there well, they are, right? They're there. right in front of you, see? So, yeah. hey, so thank you for coming. Hope you come back next thank year. You. Okay. Well, look at this. Look what we got up here. Can you get the camera? Can you get the camera on the rainbow? We have a nice rainbow right here. Think you can make it? <clears throat> what more can you do for a pumpkin fest? You second, got your the second rainbow. Oh, red rainbows. Early. Yeah, but a nice rainbow. Okay. Five bucks. Okay, I'll be right there. I gotta go. No, no, I, I, okay. I'll get it. I'll give it to you. Okay. Where should I put it? Just put it right over there. Okay. We're just about ready to finish up the show. And what's a better way to finish up the show with Igor and Pooh? Eeyore. Eeyore. Okay, it's a Y, not a G. So, okay, so we've got one minute left. So where are you from? Greenfield, Massachusetts. Greenfield. And so what do you think of the pumpkin trust? We love it. First time? No, we come up every year and do this. We have so much fun. <clears throat> we have a lot of kids that come up that want pictures with us, and a lot of the college <laughs> kids, like especially ones from foreign countries, they just think it's awesome. Last year we met a gentleman named Christopher Robin. He literally got his, his driver's license out and showed <clears throat> us, and he had to take a picture with us. It was fun. Well, I'll give you a little clue. My name is growing up. The 30 seconds, my name as a kid was Chris. I'm uh, Chris Robert, so I always <laughs> pick. <laughs> So thanks for coming. Thank Come. you. Okay. <clears throat> so this is the end of the long road here at the Pumpkin Fest in Keene. If you're not here, I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you for coming.